Hi and welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. I'm Matt Powell and today we're going to be tying the Purple Prospector which is one of my favorite flies for the Willamette Valley fishing for summer steelhead uh, generally on the swing. Hope you like the video. Today we're going to be tying one of my favorite summer steelhead flies and I call it the Purple Prospector. It's a shanked fly on one of the OPST steelhead shanks. I use the 32 millimeter for this one and a black nickel tungsten bead size 7 30 seconds. So now I'm going to tie in my intruder trailer hook wire. And a lot of guys like to put this all the way through the eye of the hook and then back the other way for security. However, I haven't had any problems just tying it in one way as long as you glue it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do today. Get a couple of good wraps, putting a lot of pressure against the hook and that trailer wire. And then pulling that trailer wire back with my finger with a lot of tension, I'm working back down the shank to a little past halfway down the shank. For durability, I always add a spot of glue along that shank. So next I'm going to be using this body material. Today I'm using UV Ice Dub in purple. And I'm just going to build up a small body onto the majority of the fly to behind the hook. So I really like to use this fly in the summer for swinging for steelhead. That big tungsten bead on there really helps it get down and these hot colors really, really seem to attract fish, especially late season steelhead. Now I'm going to add a zonker style rabbit strip in normal purple. And that's going to be about the length from right behind the bead to where the end of the intruder trailer hook wire is. Really wrench that thing down. Add another spot of glue. And now I'm going to add some strung Chinese saddle hackle in cerise. Yeah, I like to fish this fly with an intermediate tip because it is so heavy on its own that it will it'll really get down without without additional weight on the line. And I'm just going to palmer that strung Chinese saddle hackle really just two or three times around. I'm just trying to get a little bit of color in there. I, I don't want to overdo it. Pull those back. Now that I have a little bit of a hackle on there, I'm just going to add a collar of Senyo's Fusion Dub in Midnight. Now, when I'm tying this on, I like to keep it very frayed, and I actually don't dub it onto my thread at all. I just place it onto the collar of the hook, and it'll look all messy here. And then I just wrap around it several times. And it looks crazy at the start there, but as you start pulling back, it'll really, really give a good, long, fibrous, collared look to the fly. And I'm just going to whip finish it. So that's the fly. 
The last thing you have to do is throw a hook on there. I like to use a Gamakatsu octopus hook in a size 2 or 4 and I like that writing down. That is a purple, purple prospector. Thanks for watching.